I am online, online and live, for the first time in quite some time, actually, I've been online live. So as I'm, it's telling my followers that you started a live video, I guess that must appear somewhere on Instagram. I'm actually not that great at Instagram. My dirty secret is that I have like a, a social media assistant who does most of my posting for me. So when I get on to do these videos and my stories and stuff, I totally suck at Instagram, but I'm learning. Um, my family is gone, which is why I'm doing Instagram live. Cause typically at night, like phones off family time, family dinner time. And then when everybody leaves, it's like, what do I do? Where is everybody? It's so quiet around here. Do you guys actually want to know what I'm making for dinner? I could show you if you want. I know I, I've got a hat on cause I'm growing up. I'm growing up my hair super long and it's getting kind of crazy. So wearing a hat today. Um, all right, I'll show you, I'll show you guys what I'm eating here. Everybody's already asking me questions. What do I think about weight gainers? Um, okay. Uh, what I've got going in the kitchen right now, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, we've got this, well, this mortar and pestle is holding down a giant steak in there. I'm trying to experiment. I've been sous vide it at 122 degrees for the past eight hours to break down all the collagen and everything because this is a bone-in ribeye for my friends at Bel Campo. And then I'll be uh, taking that, uh, and it's got extra virgin olive oil and some spices in this stasher bag that I've got inside a Ziploc bag. Because the Ziploc bag will leach plastic, but the stasher bags don't leach as much plastic. And um, the problem is this ribeye is so big, I wasn't sure the stasher bag was gonna stay closed. So then I put the stasher bag in a Ziploc bag Looks like that, and then it'll go on that cast iron skillet. Ooh, it's the wrong skillet. I could get a bigger skillet than that for this steak. And then what I'll have along with that is, uh, I'm, I mean, just the steak will be my dinner. But then I'll uh, do a do a shot of, uh, I'm going to make a cocktail. I'm do a shot of kava. This is, uh, I'm going to do a podcast on this kava stuff soon. It's kind of a cool form of kava called true kava. I'm going to put this over ice with some juice, like some ginger juice. And that's going to be the cocktail that I have with my steak. So... Yeah. Somebody says I was randomly in their dream a few nights ago. If there's anything like my dream or my dreams, we were flying or bouncing or bounding or possibly missing an airplane flight. Our teeth were falling out or we were stuck somewhere in public in our underwear. That's a, Those are all common dreams of mine. So all of you dream interpretation folks can tell me what you think about that. So anyways, though, uh, so... I felt like strumming my guitar before I dig into this steak, and I figured, why not strum on this guitar and play you guys a song? But, oh, also, I need suggestions, okay? I'm here at home all by myself, and what I tend to do if I don't have anything to do during dinner, and this totally sucks, is I'll start writing. I'll start like writing articles and researching for articles or podcasts while I'm eating dinner, and it kind of like detracts a little bit from my enjoyment of the dinner. Um, I love cooking competition shows. I love survival competition shows. Uh, so if anybody has any suggestions, I have uh, access to my mother's Netflix account. I don't have Netflix, but my mom gave me her username and password. So if anybody, and I have a Hulu account too. I never use it, but, but I have one. So if anybody has any suggestions, but what I should watch while I eat this giant steak, please let me know. So again, I like cooking competition shows. I, I like reality. Like I don't like to watch, um, you know, I don't know, Westworld or, or Breaking Bad. Or, like, I'm just not a fan of that stuff. Uh, but I do like shows that, that can like teach me stuff, uh, particularly in areas that I like. And I find that survival and competition typically make me pretty happy. So leave some suggestions and I'll, uh, I'll watch them. I don't like baking though. I don't like the cupcake shows. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you guys leave some suggestions that I'll play you a song. But before I play a song, as I'm prone to do, let me answer one question. So first question that comes through, I'm getting lots of suggestions here. Alone, meat eater, oh, Iron Chef, Greta British baking show. It's my dream to cook in a barbecue competition, by the way, you guys. Game changers, uh, aerial helicopter tours. What's that have to do with watching TV. All right. Question. Any questions? There's not a question. I'm just going to play, uh, play some, some guitar for you guys. 
Somebody did ask best weight gainer for like muscle gain. Good stack is aminos, creatine, and colostrum. Aminos, creatine, and colostrum. That's my stack from Keon, actually. You can get all that at Keon. There's some discount code somewhere. I think it's, I think it's just keon.com slash Ben Greenfield. I think that gets you, uh, gets you a discount. Happy 21st, Madison's. Madison's 21st birthday. Hiking sandal of choice is, uh, it's a good question from Nate Trout. Hiking sandal of choice is uh, earth runners. Earth runners are really good. It's like a grounding shoe. Recommended cookware. I like stainless steel or cast iron or copper. Uh, as, as my top three forms of cookware. And then someone also says any new psychedelic protocols I've been playing with. Um, been, uh, been trying a little bit of blue Lotus extract and nutmeg and frankincense essential oil that you can put into like a vaporizer with a little bit of like a good cannabis and an organic, organic tobacco, kind of like Paul check style. You know, you mix these different teas and herbs and tobaccos and oils um, I don't like to, to get high. I don't like to, to not be sober. I like to be in control of my faculties, but just like a, you know, like one hit on that and you, you feel a lot of the benefits of those essential oils. And it's kind of a cool little blend to saturate some of the herbs that you have in the vaporizer. So I, I like to blend essential oils and organic tobacco with like a cannabis or a loose, loose leaf tea. And I use a, uh, I use a, a Buddha vaporizer for that. All right, let's play a song. Sniffles. I just got out of the cold pool too. I'm going to have to scroll through all these comments after. If anybody knows how I can scroll through comments after I post this video, I'll, let, let me see what your guys' suggestions are here. You can take, like, take like a screenshot of this. Oh, geez. There's so many suggestions for TV shows. Now I don't even know. Okay. Staring at the bottom of your glass. Open one day and make a dream last. Dreams come slow and they go so fast. Whoa. See you in your closed your eyes. Maybe one day you'll understand why everything you touch always surely dies. Whoa. But you only need the light when it's burning low. You only miss the sun when it starts to snow You only know you love her when you let her go Whoa Only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hate the road when you miss your home Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa Ceiling in the dark, same old empty feeling in your heart. Love comes slow and it goes so fast. Whoa, you see you when you fall asleep, never to touch and never to keep. Cause you love too much and you dive too deep. Yeah, well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa Only know you've been the high when you feel low Only hit the road when you're missing home Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa And you let her go And you let her go Cause you only need the light when it's burning low Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa Only know you've been high when you feel low Only hit the road when you miss it home Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa Cause you only need the light when it's burning low only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hate the road when you're missing home Only know you love her when you let her go Whoa. 
and you let her go. Um, all right. <laughs> Somebody says you go on American Idol. No way. I'd rather podcast with scientists and authors and play guitar at home. But I did audition for a country music TV show in college. I didn't get on. Um, okay. So I uh, need to scroll back through these suggestions and decide what I'm going to watch while I eat this steak. And based on what you all are telling me, it looks like there's too many suggestions here. I don't even know. I might just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe Naked and Afraid. Naked and Afraid. Can't go wrong with that, right? Or Alone. Alone's a good one. All right. So, um... First of all, a few announcements. I released a podcast today on my really, really cool form of massage therapy. So you haven't heard that, listen to it. We're doing a live Clubhouse on, uh, on next Wednesday. So live Clubhouse podcast for those of you who like these live podcast Q&A formats. I imagine people who show up on Instagram live probably do dig some of those. And then um, Saturday, have another episode coming out. Uh, that one's with Jamie Wheel, the author of the book Recapture the Rapture, which is super interesting on breathwork and sex and uh, like altered states of consciousness and rapture and philosophy. We get a whole bunch. And then um, Sunday, have an article coming out for you on endurance. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be a fun Fun week, and I'm headed to Moscow, Idaho. For any of you Idahoans, head to Moscow, Idaho for July 4th weekend. Going to be going to a party there with my friends from a Cross Politics podcast and the Fight, Laugh, Feast podcast network. Great podcast network for politics, for religion. So I'll be hanging out with them down there. And uh, so shout out to all my Moscow, Idahoans. And uh, I'll be hanging out as my home office down at a Bootser's Coffee Shop in Moscow, Idaho. That's where, I, that's where I like to do work when I'm down there. Great coffee, owned by my mama. And uh, anyways, so that's it. I hope, you, I hope you all have a really good July 4th weekend plans and that you're not going to start too many fires. And I know this was a quick live, but thank you all for, for hopping on. And uh, everybody go have an amazing, uh, what day is it today? Wednesday, an amazing Wednesday evening. And uh, I'm going to eat some steak.